High Speed Gordon. Donald was excited. The diesels at Yarn Works, he announced. Say that on the other railway there are things called high speed trains. They have a diesel engine on each end and can go at 125 miles an hour. Gordon snorted. An engine at each end, he said scornfully. There's only one of me, but I bet I can go as fast in those smelly boxes on wheels. Probably faster, he added. Gordon was still bragging the next morning. Speed's nothing to me, he said. Why, one of my Doncaster cousins went at 125 miles an hour. I'll show these diesels a thing or two, just do wait and see. He puffed grandly towards the station. Many visitors came to see the factory controllers railway. They often used the express, so it was usually full and heavy. The carriages of the express stood under the cover of the station roof, but when Gordon was coupled to them, his cab and front end stood outside. He grew colder and colder as he waited for the guard to blow his whistle and wave his green flag. Come on, he shouted impatiently. Let's get started. At long last, Gordon heard the whistle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He shouted as he tried to pull away quickly. But his wheel slipped on the icy rails. The sudden movement made water from his boiler surge forward. And Gordon's driver could not shut off the steam. His wheel spun furiously. But neither Gordon nor his train budged an inch. Help, help, wailed Gordon despairingly. But nobody could. His driver tried every trick he knew. An inspector came and tried some more, but it was no good. The fat controller came to see what the fuss was about. He said several things to Gordon, but Gordon was making so much noise that he couldn't hear them. It was a quarter of an hour before Gordon had used up all his steam. Reduced pressure allowed the driver to close the regulator, and with a deep sigh of relief, Gordon felt his wheels stop turning. The silence was amazing! Donald came to take Gordon to the shed, and Henry came to pull the express. The shed was empty. Donald tactfully remembered another job and left Gordon on his own. But that night, Gordon heard a whisper from close by. Did you hear it? It hissed. How Gordon went for a spin today. There was a quiet chuckle. Gordon seethed in silence. I speak engines are all very well. But Gordon should know by now that he's supposed to move his train too. Gordon snorted disgustedly, and with a gasp, the whisper subsided into silence.